Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the character jump and stop jumping nodes? I'll run the quick little example, and well, my character can jump. It's pretty simple. It's a easy to use node that comes with our character that gives you the ability to basically have a jump feature. Now let's actually look at the nodes themselves. Jump targets a character, so it's going to need to either target a separate character or be inside a character blueprint. In this case, I have it inside my default character blueprint. Now the jump node basically triggers a jump. It will propel the character up into the air based on your settings, and it will allow them to continually jump depending on how long you hold down the jump ability. Stop jumping basically does the opposite. It tells it to stop jumping, and at that point in time it will stop jumping, and it will free fall back down based on your gravity settings and things like that. By default, you will get, like you can see here, a basic jump. It's going to go up, and it's going to go down. If I held down the button, it's going to continue to its apex. Even if I don't let go till I land, all that does is simply reset my ability to jump again. Now by resetting my ability to jump again, you do actually have the ability to jump more than once. Double jump, triple jump built in. Jump itself is part of the character. So if we go to our class defaults and we go to character, we can find jump max hold time and jump max count. This basically determines how long we can hold our jump key until we hit the top and we are forced down. 0.0, .0 is our default. So basically if I hold this to, let's say five seconds and we hit play again, I hold down my jump key. You notice my character continues to jump. If I let go, he will stop jumping. That's because I have on my button, pressed jumps, released, stops jumping. So as soon as I release it, my stop jumping is called and that'll basically stop my jump event from firing and allow him to go down. Or until the jump max hold time is checked which in that case was zero, which means just a simple jump. Now jump max count means how many times can I actually jump before I'm forced to land or reset my stop jumping. Let's say we set this to two, and we'll set this back to zero. Now basically we have a normal jump and we can jump twice. We'll hit play, jump once, jump twice, and go back down, jump once, jump twice. I could even hit the jump button multiple times, but it still limits me to twice. So you could do a triple jump and you could even have a hold time, let's say of two seconds. We'll go ahead and jump and hold, let go, jump and hold, let go, we'll wait, we'll jump and hold and let go. Each of the hold times is the maximum hold time per jump for the jump count. If you simply want to allow three normal jumps, set your hold time to zero and it's just going to allow you three normal jumps. No matter how hard you hold it, you're just going to get three normal jumps. And that is the basics of the jump and stop jumping nodes. Stop jumping node is basically to force the ability to jump and it will have to reset. Basically once it hits the ground or you reset the jump ability, the is can jump node basically. Stop jumping is used to force it or called automatically like when I release my button. Jump gives me that velocity and allows me to jump. There are other settings. However, those are part of the character movement. We go to character movement and look at character movement jumping falling you'll actually find all the settings that control the jump how far you jump the velocity the deceleration if you can control it in the air if you are going to use the current velocity and in whatever direction you're going when you jump gravity when you're jumping things like that those are all part of the character movement they are not part of the actual jump nodes themselves they are separate so they will not be covered in this video but just keep that in mind the jump node and stop jumping node is what actually propels you in the air or stops you from going up. The settings for that in terms of how much you can jump in terms of holding down the button and how many times is in your class defaults. And the actual settings for how the jump feels is inside the character movement. And with that, it's going to wrap up our jump and stop jumping nodes. 